Hello children, welcome to Primary Learning with Prats. Today we are doing Maths Textbook, page 64. And we are doing Managing Information. So, Managing Information means when information is given to us and we have to use it, apply it. That is known as Managing Information. Let's read. In the picture below, the mangoes are labeled with the months of a year. Write the number of days in the respective months. So let's go through the months first. You have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Now let's fill in the blanks down. Use the picture above to complete the sentences. First one. This, the picture gives the names of what months? 12 months. So we will write 12. The picture gives the names of 12 months. Second one. In the picture there are Dash months of 31 days. We have already counted on our knuckles and we should know by now. So, which months have 31 days? January, March, May, July, August, October, December. Have you finished counting how many? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So we have 7 months with 31 days. The next one. There are dash months of 30 days. So we know February does not have 30 days. March has 31. So April, June, September, November. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 months have 30 days. Now, the month with 28 or 29 days is February. So, let's write February. Pronounce it correctly so you will remember the spelling. Feb, Ru, a re. If you say February, then you will not remember the spelling. You must say February. So then you will remember the spelling. Next one. The first 31 day month after May is. So May, June has 30 days and then we have July. So we will write the answer as July. J U L Y July Next one Look at this year's calendar and fill in the boxes. We'll quickly open. Now we are in 2021. So we will look at the calendar of 2021. Ramzan Eid falls in the months of April and May for the calendar year 2021. So we will write April dash May. Next Christmas is in December. You can write the day if you choose to. So you can write December. It always comes on 25th December is in December. If they had said Christmas is on, then we would have said day of the week or the complete day. So we always say Christmas is on 25th December or Christmas is on Tuesday. But when it is asked as Christmas is in, then the month will come. 
Holi is in the month of March. Holi always comes in the month of March. So we will write March. Next, my birthday is in. So you will again write the month of your birthday. They are not saying your birthday is on. It is saying my birthday is in. So you will write the month. Then dash is Maharashtra day. So here we can write the day and the date. So we have learnt May and we have learnt cardinal numbers. So let's write cardinal ordinal we have learnt. So we will write May 1st is Maharashtra day. And the next one, the dash is teacher's day. So the date of so the date of 5th September is teacher's day. They want us to write here 5th September. The 5th September is teacher's day. But that would be wrong grammar. So we will write the date of 5th September is teacher's day. Let's move on to the next page which is page 65. Ask the children the date and month of their birthday and note is down as shown below. Now all of we, all of us used to have this birthday chart in our classes. So in the same way a birthday chart is given here. Month and birthday and the names of the students. So again we have Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Now we have some information that is given to us here. We will look at this calendar and answer the questions, which is again known as managing information. In which month? Answer the following questions orally. So, teacher will ask you and you have to look at the calendar and answer the questions. In which month do Chaitali and Joseph have their birthdays? Chaitali and Joseph, they have their birthdays on the month of, I am writing the answer here for you to see. They have it in the month of October. So we will write October. Next, how many students have their birthdays in April? So let's go to April and let's count. April, we have... One, two, three. So, three students have their birthdays in April. Let's write here. Three. Next. Which month has the maximum number of birthdays? Let's again, we have to look back to our birthday chart and we can see it is March. March has one, two, three, four. So, we will write over there March. You can just answer your teacher when she is asking you. You will look at the chart, you will look at the calendar and then you will answer. Which month has, in which month there are no birthdays? So in which month are there no birthdays? In the month of July. We will write July over here. July. Next one. Name the children whose birthdays are in January. So, January we have whose birthdays? Maya and Tanaya. So, January birthdays are Maya, Maya and Tanaya. They have their birthdays in January. Now, let's read what the children are saying. Since this is a birthday chart, these children are telling us how they celebrated their birthday. So, Ria, how did you celebrate your birthday? I paid my respects to all the elders in my house. In the afternoon, I went to an orphanage and shared sweets with the children there. In the evening, I had a party with my friends. Wow, Ria, that's great. I planted a tree on my birthday. So they are telling us how you must celebrate your birthday by doing something good on your birthday. By helping out others and by helping out our planet. And with this, today we have completed our managing information. 
please do like share and subscribe to our channel and keep watching our videos thank you so much let us know in the comment section how you like this video and any other video you want us to make thank you so much do remember to like share subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated on all of the latest videos please let us know in the comment section below what other lessons you would like us to make we would love to hear from you thank you for watching